Mills on Wheels prepares and distributes meals for delivery at the Red Door Senior Center, where volunteers meet to collect and package meals for individual routes around Wichita Falls. The local Mills on Wheels officially received their first Texas Department of Health and Human Services contract in 1974, following their first official contract in 1971. After 37 years of operation, Mills on Wheels continues to face the same financial problems as many local businesses. Meals on Wheels is our largest uh, program that we, we provide for the elderly and disabled in, in our com community. We need about 10 additional volunteers on a daily basis. We work really hard to please our volunteers. We have about 40 40 volunteers or so on a daily basis. The staff covers the other 10. We do a background check on every volunteer that comes through here because we do not want to send anyone to any of these elderly people's houses that might harm them. We don't want to put them in any kind of harm's way at all whatsoever. We encourage anyone to volunteer. Um, because once they do it, I think it's, they enjoy it more than what they have a concept of in their own mind. Many of the current Meals on Wheels volunteers are over the age of 40, but the organization is always looking for members of the younger generations. I'm looking for young people. Young people are, are going to teach the next generation what it's all about to volunteer. Thank God for volunteers. I, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Most of them do it once a week. I did it Monday through Friday. And the first time I did it, this little old lady, which I am now, opened, not so little, but opened the door and said, you're the only person I see all day. And it's weird, when you go through some kind of experience like that, you can kind of, you get more compassionate. And I said, screw the food getting cold, I'm going to visit her. And I would visit them all for five or ten minutes, and I loved it. Our meals are for um, anyone that there is a need, someone that um, may have the money but n may not have the means uh, to prepare meals for themselves. They may not have family here in town. <laughs> People forget that we do uh, Meals on Wheels for people that um, are, have just had surgery, have just had a stroke. We help them to get back to their normal, everyday life. I had a person call, had not eaten in two days. And I went out and assessed the situation and we served her immediately. Members of the community are always welcome to attend the various fundraisers hosted by Mills on Wheels annually. Dances, auctions, and fish fries are only a few of the fundraisers. In one year, the utility cost at the Red Door Senior Center average about $50,000, and food expenses have been as high as $350,000. We have a suggested donation of $2.50, and we average about $0.90 cents a meal from those individuals. And another source of funding that we have is we uh, receive a small amount of funding from the, from the local United Way, and the rest of the money, basically, we have to raise. Due to unavailable resources, Mills on Wheels staff and volunteers have only been able to deliver meals to clients just once a day, Monday through Friday between 10.30 and 12.30. On the road again, like a band of gifts, we go down the highway. We're the best of friends, insisting that the world keep turning our way. These people, uh, 
women, they have no families. Uh, if they do, their families doesn't live here. And uh, this is the only contact they have. The milk. And the bread. The bread and the dessert. And the others had a, don't get dessert, they had an orange and the milk. I met him at the door, and that's the first time he's ever came to the door. His wife always came, so I told him he wasn't good looking, his wife was. <laughs> so he just laughed, and then he had to tell me about him having cancer and colon cancer, and he had to have a bag, you know, instead of a. And he said he has a hard time getting around with it. It fills up with gas and everything. It fills up pretty fast on him, he said. <laughs> The local Mills on Wheels is responsible for finding volunteers for 47 routes. On average, they serve about 700 mills daily. Mills on Wheels. Good morning. Where's that dog? Huh? Where's the dog? Oh, hey. Come on. Hey, my car because I was 92 and I knew I couldn't drive any longer. And I don't know what I do. Uh, I don't, you know, it's, it's hard to get meals. And uh, I, they, they surely are nice to fat brain. I try to help as much as I can. I have a dog in a nursing home. And uh, of course I have to help her. And I look forward to the people that bring it. They're all so nice. We had one woman delivering down there, and she delivered one time. She said, I ain't going to deliver down there. It's, it, it's too hard to deliver to. You have to go in, set it on the cabinet, and all that kind of stuff. Well, we got on the sport, see. I'm under doctor's care, and uh, well, of course you can hear I have trouble breathing, so that uh, I haven't been that well to be able to fend for myself entirely. I don't have that much energy to move around and that sort of thing. And I don't like being in the kitchen. And so that's how Meals on Wheels developed with me, but I've been very grateful. And they've always been very good. The people who deliver are nice ladies. And uh, I've got nothing but the best to say of Meals on Wheels. They'd be very fortunate to, to have Meals on Wheels deliver. Because the food is good. It's well balanced. Uh, uh, I don't, I've got nothing but A1 recommendation for them. There's a lot of us senior citizens that delivers meals, and uh, they don't want to get out on the, in the bad weather and everything. So we will, Kelly will call and uh, we'll go and deliver their meals. Uh, sometimes we'll have delivered uh, three and four times a week, plus, uh, uh, well, including our own route. Now, if it's bad weather, uh, we have a meal that uh, we take to them that is to time over, because if the schools are closed, we don't deliver meals. If, if we don't deliver, they don't get no food. <laughs> or they're living in. Mills on Wheels clients have an average income of $700 per month. Some clients live in the housing projects. The local Mills on Wheels serves anyone within the Wichita Falls city limit. I got ill in 1985. I have a rare bleeding disorder. Uh, my mother-in-law, she's an angel, uh, suggested some voluntary work. And I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I tried going behind the front desk at Bethany Hospital. It, it was just too boring. You didn't really meet people. I'm a people person. And so they advertised meals on wheels. Staff and volunteers believe it is important for the community to know that clients don't have to be 60 years of age to receive meals through the program. I don't get around very well, so it's important that someone comes out with these meals because I'm uh, unable to stand at my stove and cook anymore. And she loves everything you bring her. Wheels on wheels. Oh, it's chicken. I love 
love chicken. The sweet peas and mashed potatoes. When he comes out, he, he'll see my trash can, you know, out there, and he'll bring it in from the sidewalk. Because I can't get out there very easily and do it. If there's anybody out there that thinks they might want to volunteer, I know the price of gas is real high, but you can't put a price on what they do for me. We get a blessing out of delivering the meals. Because not only do I get food, I get love, I get attention. Because we as people, we never outgrow the, the need for the human touch. You want to know why you, I like it? You see why now.